What's up, what's up, what's up, people? It's me, L Teddy27, Angry Teacher Chronicles. Um, this video today is a little more mellowed out. A little more mellowed out. Alright, y'all. So this is gonna be a challenge video. Now it is June 15th. It is exactly the middle of Pride Month. For all those in the LGBTQIA community, I know it's more letters attached to that, but who can remember all of those letters, okay? So I'm just going to mention LGBTQIA. If I left your letter out, I apologize, okay? Anyway, so, you know, there's a lot that goes on in the quote-unquote YouTube screets. Because you can't say streets. It got to be screets because shit is ghetto as hell. Anyway, so I have thought where this count comes from is I had a student reached out to me um, yesterday um, talking about um, he explained to me that he was a part of the LGBTQIA spectrum, which I already knew, but he didn't know I knew. Um, and then he just reached out to me and he said, you know, he hasn't really seen any good positive role models outside of myself um, that he could go to look at, you know, for, you know, just some positive feedback and perspective on what it is to be young and a member of the LGBTQIA spectrum. He is a junior now. He just got out of 10th grade. He's a junior now in high school. And he's just looking for encouragement. So, this challenge is called the Pride Challenge because I'm going to challenge a whole lot of people who are members of YouTube, who are in the LGBTQIA spectrum, and who I'm going to ask to come up out the streets from windmilling for just a second or two, okay? Please, take a moment. Can we have one moment during Pride Month for us to come up out these YouTube streets and cease from windmilling just for a brief moment and offer up some good sage words of wisdom and advice to young members of the LGBTQIA spectrum here in June, which is Pride Month and we're halfway through, so figured it was a good time to do that. So, all you have to do Make a short video and give three pieces of advice or words of wisdom to um, a member of the LGBTQIA spectrum. I am going to be biased and tell you specifically um, focus on um, um, persons of color within the LGBTQIA spectrum. Okay, so that's all you have to do. Quick short video, upload it. Um, you can tag me in it if you want. Um, I'm going to put keywords and tags, the people that I tag and so forth. And that way I will, you know, direct him to the link. So he has a consortium and a cornucopia of just words of wisdom and advice and a lot of different people who he may want to decide to subscribe to and just watch. You know, so we're going to cut out, cut out all of the, you know, buffoonery and tomfoolery that we are often all about. And just take a moment to just inspire and encourage. So here's my three, and all you need is three. Here's my three pieces of advice. One, have fun. Because when you're young, um, adulting is hard, okay? And when you couple that with being a person of color and triple that with being a person of color and a member of the LGBTQIA spectrum, adulting is hard. So while you can have as much fun as you can, I'm not saying be, be reckless. I'm not saying do things that you will regret, but certainly go out and live the life and have fun because as much as we um, get hated on or as much venom and vitriol that gets pointed in our direction sometimes. Within our own community, we know how to have a good time. So enjoy yourself, have fun. My second piece of advice is <coughs> always guard your heart. Guard your heart 
with your life. People might come into your life that want to quickly snatch your heart from under you and take it and do all kinds of horrible things to your heart. Guard it with your life. And do like I do. Whenever I get into a relationship with someone, I always tell them that I'm giving them my heart and I expect them to take better care of it than I would probably um, than I probably would. OK, so when you give up your heart to somebody, they then are at liberty to do what they want with it. They could mangle it and, you know, chop it up and rip it apart and break it and all that stuff. But you want somebody that's going to care for it, comfort it and take better care of it than probably you would yourself. It's my second piece of advice. Third piece of advice. This is great advice right here. The best way to deal with homophobia and or racism. The best way to deal with that and to overcome that is excellence. If you are the best at what you do, they cannot deny you. They will not close the door in your face. They will not keep you on the outside. Here's an example. If I make cookies, doesn't matter how gay I am, don't matter how black I am, don't matter how I'm however, whatever I am. If my cookies are better than everyone else's cookies, they're going to want to eat my cookies. So they're, got, they're not going to deny me entrance. They're not going to deny me in the, inside of the inner circle. So if you keep that credence of excellence about you and be great and better than everybody else around you in whatever it is you decide to set your mind to, you will not be denied and it will definitely cut through and help deal with the likes of homophobia and racism. All right. And those are my three pieces of advice. Now, I got a long list. I wrote it down because y'all know I like to write notes of people who I am challenging in this video. So I hope y'all um, agree to this challenge. If you don't, it's OK, too. OK, I'm challenging challenging. Ooh, it's a long list. Deshaun Fairley, James Caldwell of Spill It Boy TV, Jay Wilson, Sean Bradley, Zero Tolerance, Wiley of The Wiley Show, Castro Cannon, Neptarian, um, Alexander Rogers, Jaded Nerd, Ashley Miller, Food Junkie, Stuck on Stupid Channel, uh, Mr. Shalaki. Duchess Kelly Love, Maddie Rance, Rodney The Voice, T-H-A, Voice, um, Rodney The Voice, YB The Kid, YB, the D A K I D underscore, YB The Kid, The Superman, T-H-E-E-S-U-P-A-M-A-N, uh, my boys from back in the day, my five black guy crew, um, and some of my other people from back in the old days of YouTube, I, I So Love London, Alonzo LaRone, Tom Tim um, Mirren 5, um, The Scorpion Show, um, A Connection TV, Wesley, and um, who am I missing? Derek L. Briggs, XD um, of XD TV, uh, Asante, um, who else? Um, I know I'm missing some people. Oh, Invincible. I'm sorry, Invincible. He's going to be real upset that I forgot about him. Um, who else am I missing? I, I think I've gotten most of the people that I wanted to mention. I know I left somebody out. Um, oh, God, I know I left some people out and I apologize. But if I called your name and if I didn't call your name and you just want to enter yourself into this um, pride challenge, I um, I want you to take the challenge. I challenge you to make this video and give three wonderful pieces of advice or words of wisdom for a young member of the LGBTQ, LGBTQIA spectrum, specifically those persons of color. That is all I have uh, for this time. Um, yeah, I think I know I forgot somebody and I just can't remember, but whatever. All right. Love y'all. That's all I got. Thank y'all for coming. Y'all drive safely.